Hello, Monsters of Baron here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 26 of my Kugeth campaign, where we still have Clan Rictus as, as a vassal. We're making, ooh, 156, so he's, he's making a little bit more money. Um, I, I genuinely don't know... You know what? You know what's very pleasing. Just we'll go. We'll we'll, cir we'll we'll circle back to the vassal tribute thing. Very pleasing is that Andrew Wakefield. Although he doesn't have the same look as the previous Andrew Wakefield, he's had a bit of a, a haircut change, but his voice is the same because this this. <laughs> see, that's got a different voice, but this one. I mean, there's probably only like two voices, and I probably just lucked out, but. But the fact that they have the same voice, the Andrew Wakefield has the same voice as the previous one, is, is very pleasing to me. Anyway, coming back to the to the vassal thing, that's that's point two on the uh, the agenda. Um, well, it's point one, actually. We circled around back to point two, but then we came back to point one, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, the agenda was, of course, the vassal. I don't actually know how much income you get from vassals. Is it like 10%? 1%? Is, I mean, because if it's, if it's 10%, then I'm concerned about what Clan Rictus is, is actually making. But... Um, if it's just one, then I guess that's fine. Guess that could be fine. I don't know. I mean, what's that? 222 there. Zero. Zero. 84. 84. 51. I mean, they're not making a lot of money, I, I grant you. There's not, there's not, I mean, yeah, 82. There's definitely not much money there, but they are still making a lot of money because, oh, for fuck's sake, what are you doing back here? Uh, one. Can you go and sort this out, please? Get him. Okay, one. You failed. You massive. Right, Ian. I know that's not a doctor's name. Or is it? Ooh, plot twists. Who's Dr. Ian, you might ask? Don't know. Could be that doctor that called me a fleshy individual. That what a prick. Fuck that guy. Don't even know who he is. But I wish him a terrible life. Which is a bit rude, but still. So he's calling me a fleshy individual. I mean, he's not wrong, but he didn't need to say it. He didn't need to bring it up. There wasn't that requirement. Um, Valmir, I get... I, uh, okay, you come down here. We need more Valmir cools, don't we? That's the problem. He's like a constant supply of them. Okay, not that one. I put, I put a lot of effort into doing that. It'd be nice if you could like have your favourite plagues. Like, that'd be, that'd be good if you could just like pick your favourite plagues. Yeah? I think that, you know, save them. You've got, you've got your sort of like general, you know, bonus plagues, which are great. But I would like to be able to say, ah, well, I've, I like this, this plague is one I use all the time for like attrition damage. Because it's not really an attrition plague, is it? There really should be. Uh, right, Mung but yeah, you can have that. How much money would you give me? 3k. So you've at least, you've got some money, Tretch. I know you've got money. You've definitely got money. So what the fuck are you doing with it? I'm, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not going to take the money off you. Oh my God, look at these armies. Come on, Tretch. Mate, come on, come on. Come on, what are you doing? This army can be loaned. Should I? I could loan an army, couldn't I? Uh, can you... Can you deal with that, please? Please? No, you know, no. D right. Right, okay. You kill that. That's going to... Does that cost me thingy-majig? Genuinely don't know. Uh... Where's the oh, for, what, they need to make a they need to make a button so I can get to fucking, Oh, I don't want no, sorry. Wait, hang on, 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 hang on. Hang wait. No, hang on. No, wait, hang on. Hello? Hello, sir? Would you confederate you would confederate with me? Well, my plague is impressive. I grant you that. Um... Okay, we'll take your stuff. We'll take your stuff. And... Right. 
Now make it, yeah. So you must have an right. You've got an army over here. It's another Ian. I'm sorry, Ian. You're fired. Uh, we're under new management. There's Dungrut over here. I am going to disband you. What level are you? 27. What have you got? I mean, uh, it's okay. But I don't need you at the. Well, do I? Shall I? Um, I'm just going to stick you in this settlement for the moment. Do we have anyone else? Let's look at Lords and Heroes. That's the best. That's the best way to find anyone who's hanging around. Uh, Wolric is over here. Don't know what he's doing. You come. You come down here. There's a ve okay. No, no, that's just Valmy calls. Ian is wounded. That's fine. We've got Dungrut. He's the only other person. And then oh, there's another Ian over here. A lot of Ians. A lot of Ians around. Okay, we'll get rid of you. Um, you fight the wars. I'll collect the soul. Noted. If I. <sighs> Trust us, son. You like me. That's good. Who who likes me? It shall the oracles be. of Zinch like me. I wonder if I give that to them. Because I don't really want it. Who else owns the province? Uh, just those guys. I guess I c could I give it to these guys? Welcome. Mayhaps we can barter for the souls of those you represent. I can give you the Tower of Torment. And then I can maybe do something like that. And you can give me some money. For now. And then that'll chill you out a little bit. Okay, good. Um, I could keep this one, or I could give it to these guys. Mayhaps we can barter for the souls of those you represent. Because this, this, this isn't, this is just, this is just part of a province I don't own anything for, isn't it? Uh, yes. Oh, I've got a thingy here. Okay, well, let's have more of those. Your life is okay, full. you can have that you one. Accept that. And I'll take some money. And hopefully that'll keep you off my back. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Clan Grittus is doing some shit. That's good. Well, I wouldn't say that. Looks like you're going for the caravan. I mean, if they've got an army... I could, I could take control of this army. I mean, they're, they're right next to... Right, they, they, they want to attack the Sentinel camp. So, realistically, they should do that next turn, right? That is well within their capabilities to go and fuck that up. Greasers can't reach them. So, in theory... Hello, Scarbrand. How's it going? Military access. Uh, no, because everyone hates your guts. Everyone's trying to kill you. Everyone hates your guts. God, where did you get all those fucking Cossack... Well, no, I know where you got those fucking Cossack. Where did you get the gold chevron? Where did you get the gold chevron from? Cad the Rebellion. Don't really care. Okay, you are moving against that settlement. I wish I could see. It looks, it looks like you took it out. So... Okay... Okay, you're laying, you want to retake that, which is fine, because there's no one there. Uh, there's a couple of guys over there. So let's let's meander in this direction. Let's see if we because there's a number of armies currently moving moving up. I would like if we could get a Valmir cool over here. Nope, not you. You, and you, and you. Okay, you make your way over to this... ...thing. Try not to get too close, I don't know what it's going to do. And we shall meander our way towards the Hall of Greasus, which looks like it's about to get reinforcements. Is it going to get reinforcements? It is going to get reinforcements. 
reasonably reasonably hearty reinforcements as well. So let's get in there. Uh, it says Pyrrhic victory, but if we just kill the reinforcements, then uh, I think that'll work out quite nicely for us. First things first, let's take out these reinforcements. Make sure they just have a bloody bad day. Just keep blatting them. Obviously, we have uh, Andrew being poked to death. The Jade Warriors, I mean, we're not doing a lot of damage. And then the Plague Bearers moving in. The enemy general, however, has made a break for it and has left her army before. Just, just left them. Just left them to their own devices. Rude. Over here, ogres are now pouring onto the battlefield, but getting roasted. I'll light them up, boys. We're going to send the Forsaken in. And then we're going to light them up, boys. No, oh, the Forsaken. Oh, it's going to be so bad. No, they're actually, they're actually fine. They're actually fine. It's fine. It's fine. This, this may not be as good. Uh, could have been worse. Could have been worse. The Gorgers trying to reach the wall, like, uh, the wall fire throwers. Getting engaged by the Chaos Spawn. And yet, have you noticed how the AI does this? Like, you'll attack their unit and they just like ignore you and just pull through. Like, so I, I, I was thinking, okay, the, the Gorgers are dealt with because I've charged them, right? I charged them with the Chaos But no, the Chaos Spawn got busy with Trug over here. And then the Gorgers just started killing the Mort Fire Throwers, which was quite annoying. Um, I came back and was like, what the fuck is going on here? Fortunately, the Chaos Spawn have managed to deal with most of the Ogres. Smush them. You know what? I, I never really rate Chaos Spawn very highly, but you know what? They, they do okay, don't they? They do, they do fine. They do fine. Okay, elsewhere... Looks like we're just mopping up the last survivor. There's, yeah, they're, they're trying to pull through, but the plague bearer is just proved to be very difficult to get to get past. So apart from the enemy general, it looks like there will be no additional cafe reinforcements reaching the ogre settlements. Don't resist. Actually do. We want you to try and resist. That's the point, isn't it? That is the point. So yeah, sure. Go knock, knock yourself out. You do your best. We believe in you. See, that's why Nurgle's the best chaos god. He's all about, yeah, you can do it, guys. He's, he's like the, the kitty hanging on. Hang on in there, kitty. You can do it. And then eventually dies of plague, and he's like, well, you tried your best. Okay, the lightning cannons opening. Why have they got little moors? Like, I know there's the great moor, but do they have little moors? Are there little moors? Is there, is there, is there little... Is, is it? Is, is there little moors? Is there? Question mark? I don't think there is. I could be wrong. Maybe they will have little moles. Who knows? Oh, anyway. not important. Gonna drop a, a load of plague bearers on the gorges here to try and entray the city. I was, I was trying to push the lead belchers back, and that has succeeded. The lead belchers are actually pulling back away. I mean, I would have put the lead belchers here, and then they could just like you know lay into anyone in range. Ancestral warriors being summoned into the battlefield. Coming to attack poor old Elliot. I didn't, I didn't notice the Ancestral Warriors. Andrew Wakefield is now moving up to help out. We have the Plague Bearers behind. I wanted to leave the Plague Bearers out just in case the Lead Belchers came back. But seeing as the Lead Belchers have apparently just run over here. And it looks like they're going to stay over there. I mean, that's fine. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care. They've got two little moors. What the fuck is going on there? I mean, it's neat. Don't get me wrong. Aesthetically, very nice. Does does, does it fit into law though? 
at these little wiggly tentacles. That's how you can tell they're friendly. Probably. Okay, our, our Skaven allies moving the Warp Lightning Cannons into position. The Forsaken, who weren't roasted alive. Along with the Chaos Spawn, are pushing up. Although there's, they've, they've pulled their units away from this. I don't entirely know why. So we just have to smash through the barricade there. And then we'll be into the victory point. There is a unit of uh, Jade Warrior Crossbowmen. They weren't from the reinforcements, but they were part of the garrison. Because, of course, they've got an outpost here. It's a big old ruck going on over here as Andrew Wakefield leads the charge. Lots of death heads raining in. We've also summoned another great unclean one. There he is. Taking a little bit of fire there from the death heads, but that's fine. The death heads do a lot of damage very quickly. They're very good. The only problem being, of course, they're very short range, so realistically... If, if you're on the attack, and in most cases in, in Total War, you're going to be on the attack. It, it's hard. I mean, if you get a Soul Grinder, you can lure people into, into melee range. So you can, you can get like a little, little precursor shot off there. Which can be useful. There's a lot of Blade Bearers in here. Unfortunately, they are the summoned ones. What the fuck was that? I don't know what that was. We do have some man eater ogre pistols. They are taking pot shots at us. Their missile attacks actually very strong. 152. You know what? If 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 we run out of time for the if you know if we run out of the ogre camp, I would like to play ogres again. I I, I think my my Patreon campaign. We're playing with the chaos realms, so I don't think it was probably the the most exciting uh, campaign. I do think Ogres really struggle with the Realm of Chaos. The survival battles particularly are just very difficult to not complete, enjoy. They're difficult to enjoy as Ogres, I find. I genuinely don't give a shit about them. I think the survival battles work really well for factions like Kislev and Cathay. Factions where you kind of have that frontline missile support. You're kind of like doing that protection thing. And I think for the other factions... Because a lot of them are like, you know, I mean, Corn, Slanesh, they, they, they're mostly just charge at people and kill them. And I mean, the Ogres are a lot like that as well. Wow. So they flying off the barricade. And I think for those factions, the survival battles, because you are kind of defending a point, it, it's... I think the most interesting thing about those, those factions is your unit placement... And, like, trying to envelop the units, pin down the missile units, that kind of thing. I, I think the problem with survival battles is you don't really get that. Because, you know, if a missile if a missile unit is firing at you, you can't really outflank it. Because there's bound to be another unit coming up behind it. So, personally, I, I, I wanted to like the survival battles... And I, I really like the, the Kislev one, the prologue one, we, not the prologue one, but the, the preview one we were given. That was really fun. Um, but I just don't think that... I just... I Yeah, I think overall, I think the survival battles... An interesting concept. And potentially good in places, but for some factions, just not really that entertaining um which is a shame i think i think maybe a limited survival battle if you had like a survival battle which was um more like a quest battle so rather than you know you've got you've got constant waves of troops coming at you maybe if you had like you know armies of troops coming like reinforcements if you had you know we're going to be attacked from this location now and then you can prepare and then all the units come on at once and then you can sort of, like, deal with that. And then you get a little cooldown for, like, the next wave of reinforcements. I think that, rather than just the constant dribble of stuff coming at you, would have been would have been better. Um, obviously, that's me just, you know, thinking off the top of my head. And I think it's one of those things where you'd probably need to actually try it to see if it is good. But I, I, think, I think that probably would have been my preference, personally. I think that's that's probably where I would have gone. 
The ogres are being brought down. Over, I mean, you know, slowly and surely. This battle has taken a little, you know, take, it's taking a little while, but we're, we're good. What fire throws? Apparently, what fire throws? Very good at destroying barricades. I mean, I guess it's a flamethrower, so that's not a massive surprise. But look at that, the, the jade warrior crossman legging it as soon as the what fire throws come around the corner. Can't really blame him. Just makes sense. The rest of the garrison has broken. It's just the enemy general. Because for, I think the reinforcements have their own like balance of power. So the garrison has the overall balance of power, and then each reinforcement army has its own balance of power. So apparently the general's kind of like, nope, I don't. I, I, I think I think I still win this. I mean, probably only just, but still. Fortunately, we've got our own flying force, so we can send in. Send in little Turk and his rock flies to go and chase down the enemy general and finish him off. Only 123 casualties, and most of those we probably did ourselves. I genuinely don't think there's any point in sacking it, I'm just going to do it occupy. Okay, you didn't come to join, which is a shame. I would have liked it if you, you joined in as well, but you did not. That's fine. I think you'll all be running away. Uh, Andrew. Oh, of course you don't. Well, I keep forgetting you're level 50. You could be level 50. Uh, in that case, we can get Renown and Fear, can't we? Yes, we can. Um, I guess if maybe we get that one. Lightning Strike, and then we can get Renown and Fear. Um, getting Evasion would be actually be quite nice. Because if he's losing melee combat, he just gets speed. I mean, he's not he's not the fastest unit, but, but it's something. Doctor Rick, can meander over here. They should heal up. Yep, good. Why have you lost Howling? Go and retake. Go and retake these for fuck's sake. It's not that hard. It's not that difficult. Dr. Quinn, bloated carcass. Let's save you from missile fire. I mean, you're not the biggest unit, but probably a good idea. Um, Elliot can be thick-skinned, give you a little bit extra armor. And one... One sheet. Assassinate. Just in, just in case I want you to stab anyone. In fact, can you stab someone? You can assault... Greasus. One. Okay. Well, I'll. You know what, one. You. You. You were. You were trying. Demon Stump has been retaken by the ogres. That's fine. We can. Oh, fuck's sake. You know what? As as long as we kill the ogres, I'm not that bothered about Cathay at the moment. Cathay have got their own issues, which is mostly Kairos. What are you doing today, Kairos? You. You were. You were going to attack the caravan. You're now just kind of like chilling. Could we maybe? May could, could, could you do that? Could you do that for me? Could you, could you do, could, 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 could you do that? Do you have any other armies anywhere else? What happened to all your armies? You had loads. Don't tell me you got them all killed. You friggin' lunatic. How the fuck did you get them all killed? Okay, I'm strength rank 1. You're strength rank 7. The Empire's strength rank 2 on 12 settlements. The fuck? Alright, we're going to take them down a peg or two, aren't we? Bloody strength rank 2. Bloody strength rank 2. Nice to cause. Alright, I guess we've just got to keep an eye on, on Greasus there, because he does. He has managed to recruit an entire stack. Father's here. Uh, you just chill there for a minute. We got damaged buildings, but I don't really care. Uh, do I care about that? No, not really. We're just we're, we're defending Plesk and Nova Chozzi, so we need to come up here and deal with this. You can get evasion. Uh, nope. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Enter. Very cool. Yeah, if you could actually plague Greasus, that would be very useful. Obviously, we've got you. You can slow armies, I think. I think that's what you do. Which would be fine. 
cast out the cannibals. What the fuck? Infect the Imperial. What? Hi, Kairos. How's it going, buddy? You want me to join you? No. No. I've got... Look. I'd love to help. I really would. I'm just kind of busy fighting the entire Empire by myself with one army. Can't. And again, I don't mind my settlements falling to rebellion because it means it's harder for the AI to take. Are you actually mobilizing? Okay, that's got a plague. That's got a plague. Settlement looted. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Okay, rebel army. Again, don't care. Let's kill you. Uh, I'll take the replenishment. I bring the plague and we'll probably lose this settlement next turn, but the if we can get a turn of replenishment, of all the better. I might just leave you to, to gain some winds of magic, because that would probably be a good idea. Do we know where Greece is as fucked off to? Where are you, Lard Bucket? Where have you run off to? Oh, there he is. He's, he's right in that settlement. Does the settlement have... It doesn't look like it has plague. It's just you. You have plague. How much plague do you have? Okay, that's not too bad. So we're going to hit Greasus with this. Just to make sure that Greasus has plague. I mean, the Darklands is currently a little bit unstable. So I'm hoping that, that Tretch can can just get his shit together. Looks like he is upgrading, so that's positive. Can't see what he's upgrading. I mean, this is good. This, I mean, Karak Vlag is level 5 now, so he's, he's doing okay. Right. Can we reach you? We can. And then we could kill you. And I do like the idea of killing you. Can we just... I think we could just all resolve that one. Uh, 84 infections. That's very, that's very pleasant. I'll take that. And we may either... I mean, I'm, I'm actually okay with all of these, these settlements being rebel settlements. Because it's just harder for the AI to break through. Which is absolutely fine. Plus, we have Dr. Rick Douglas. Who should be able to reach us in, what, one, two, three, four, five turns. So five turns would be at Castle Drakenhof and be able to protect that, which would be fantastic. He'll be able to, he'll be able to like, push this way, which is good, because that means that we won't be able to wipe out Kislev in this area. And then push down towards Kislev itself. Which needs a plague. Uh, let's go... Nope. Let's go with... Uh, more chance of spreading. Because then hopefully that will spread to armies and settlements nearby. And uh, just whittle them down. Just make it just make it a little bit easier for us to finish them off. Dungra, I'm going to keep moving you between settlements so you don't get bad traits. I don't have anything I really want you to do. Imminent rebellion. Uh, that, that's fine. Don't care. Again. That is, if anything, just going to help whittle down. Yeah, we've got that play. Uh, just help to whittle down. Shit. Alright. Well. I guess we're all with Scarbrands. My eye. Hello, a non-aggression pact. I'll take that. How do I get the feeling that, that Scarbrand has been dicking about for a... Oh, hello. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling pretty good about winning that. I think it's worth a punt. Good grief. I didn't realise the towers were that effective against infantry. I thought they were just like plinking them a little bit. 
but Jesus, I mean, it, it's wrecking them. A absolute devastation. Um, so, I mean, this force should be pretty easy to deal with. They're attacking in three three locations. The first location over here, um, they, they've sent all their spearmen in the towers, which is fine. Um, but it does mean that our, our rock flies can then just eat the, the enemy archers. So, that's good. Uh, there's a little, little witch hunter who's trying to find his own way into the city. Fair enough. Over here, again, all of their pikemen. Apparently they're pikemen. Okay. All of the pikemen are in are in the the siege towers. Um, which does mean that we can just send out our, our plague toads and our nerglings to just go eat the archers. So the enemy missile units are not going to be an issue. So already we've got a massive a massive uh, advantage against the enemy forces because they now um, have to rely on their melee units, which is fine, apart from the fact that their melee units aren't as good as ours. So this one, we've got the Plague Bearers, Marauders of Sanesh, and Chaos Warriors of Corn. Um, I don't know. Oh, you know what? It's probably because the demon print. It's, it's Ted. Ted puts his, his outpost here. That's what I was like. How have we got both Slanesh and Corn in here? That doesn't make any sense, but I bet it's because it's Ted, and so therefore it's all like a mixture of units. So they're coming to attack this little tower there. That's fine. Uh, over here, the enemy... In, uh, wow, they just got absolutely wrecked. Even the ram is, is struggling to make it as we rain warp fire down on their heads. So this is not going well for them. Yep, nope, they, they, they dead. They gone. Well, um, okay, good. Just the enemy general there then. The rock flies have managed to pick up, um, the, also the rock flies acted as, as like, they, they, they intercept, or got stuck on these towers and the towers collided and they're trying to like move but failing. Which means we can concentrate on killing off these guys first as they pour into the big blob of plague bearers. Now, we have been accused. I don't know of what. It's always a bit disconcerting, but it's also causing us damage. And uh, a bunch of demons have oh, gone now. But the pikemen are trying to fight their way through. Kind of struggling, though. And plus, we now have reinforcements available because... All these guys are dead, and it's just the enemy general trying to break through the gate, and he's not doing very well. So we can just actually use uh, the tally master here to just spirit leech him to death, which is, I mean, pretty effective. The enemy missile units here have been well and truly trounced. Trying to flee in all directions, but there's nerglings and plague toads all over them. And there are four units of pikemen trying to break through, but they're trying to break through, you know, hordes of Chaos Warriors of Corn, Marauders of Slanesh. With their big spiny spike arm. Which is... It's their right arm as well. I mean, it's just as well the cultists of Slanesh. They probably have someone else to help them with that. Maybe they help each other. Just... You know, give each other a hand. That kind of thing. That'd be good. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's an image. Um, I mean, the demonettes have got claws. They've got, like, scissor claws. You don't want them giving you hands. No, could, could you just... No? Okay. A lot of eunuchs. Anyway, so, good. good. Uh, th th these guys are already starting to panic. I'm not surprised. Most of their army is dead. Um, their missile units have been trapped, jumped up and down on by, by plague toads. What's left of them. And th everyone's dead here, apart from the enemy general, who is, is being spirit leashed to death. The enemy witch hunter has made a break for it. I don't know where he's going. Apparently, he's got very important business for the Plague Toes. Going to come and try and... Is, is Dietz, Dietz Fulldorf. He's not, he's not having the best of times. He's being assaulted by frogs. He's, at, yep, he's, he's having a rough time. He's... Uh... Ooh. Ow. Okay, well, yeah, good. So he's managed to, to make a break for it, but everyone else is, is kind of stuck. The rock flies are helping out the plague bearers. And yeah, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. Sending them like flying off the wall. That's that's what I was kind of hoping for. Because if we can send them flying off the wall, then uh, they just die. They just fall to their death, which is great. 
the enemy general has as yet to actually as he actually oh he is started to knock down the, the door but he's being spirit leech so sucks to be him and yeah the warriors of corn very one-sided battle that they've just murdered their way through a horde of pikemen it hasn't really slowed them down they're still raring to go and uh, the, the number of pikemen on the wall is dropping rapidly Anyone who tries to flee off the wall gets jumped up and down on by Plague Toads. Basically, this, this battle is very one-sided. I mean, it might have been better had they not put all of their infantry into, uh, into siege towers. That might have helped them out a little bit. But as it is, you know, they've, they've lost their missile units. The melee units being crushed. To be honest, even if they had just decided to use ladders... And shot me. I don't think that would have worked out either. Basically, I don't... I I don't think there was any way for them to win, to be honest. I genuinely don't think if I had control of this army that I could beat this garrison with what they have. It would have been, it would have been very, very tough. So it's a, a ballsy attempt. Very ballsy, but ultimately futile. Okay, well, that was... It says heroic victory. I'm going to say that was just a very easy one. Ooh, but look at all those... In, what, also, why is it that the... Sometimes, at the end of a battle, it'll go, ooh, 2% replenishment, and yet all of your units will be healed to full. And yet, sometimes it's 5, and they, they, they get nothing. And I, I don't understand what... But, how, 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 does, how, does, how does that... How does that work? Does anyone know how that works? Can anyone explain to me how that works? Uh, growth, I guess. Anyway, well, I mean, for some reason, this is apparently fine. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but that's good. I was expecting just to lose it immediately, but it seems to be uh, holding on for a minute. Uh, that is a lot of archers. Okay, we're going to go... We're going to come down here and take this one because... You should help me. Oh, there's no one here, so you don't have to. Okay, I'll just occupy them. We'll occupy. We'll heal up. They may go for Volksgrad, and if they do, we'll just kill them. What are you attacking? I'm going Fortenhof. Why? Why are you doing this thing? Oh, have you got that settlement? You bloody have, haven't you? I mean... I, I, I believe in Tretch's ability to deal with that minor issue. It's a very minor issue, and I have some confidence in his capabilities to resolve that slight issue. Maybe. Right, what else? Research-wise, what we got left? What do we have left? Norse infection. Sure, are we going to be fighting the Norse? Absolutely fucking not. But are we going to research that technology? Apparently. Apparently we're doing it. Thanks. That's done great. You get over here. Woolerick, you come over here. Everyone's good. So we're healing up there. If we can if we could just retake the north. I think when when Dr. Rick Douglas arrives back at Castle Drakenhof, things are going to change around here. Oh yes. I wish that maybe we should just recruit someone to go and grab that. Unless there's rats there. No, there won't be any rats there. That's just silly. Of course there's no rats. Absolutely not. Uh, why have you... I mean, we could we could go and deal with this along the way and give it back to them. guess the problem is we increase Nurgle corruption once we're wandering through the province. That's probably cool. Yeah, it's up to 74. So, I mean... Uh, have they had a rebellion? E yes, they've, they've had a rebellion. Um, but maybe it's dead? It wouldn't have been there. It would have been at Nashrak's lair, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? He says. I don't know. Oh well. Right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna finish now. We've they've only got one. Well, two settlements left. Two settlements and a bunch of uh, their bloody camps. That they keep pooping out. There's nothing I can do about those. But if we if we knock out all of their settlements, I don't. I mean, I don't think they'll start taking attrition from that. But then they won't have any. If we could just knock out the last few camps for them, 
Um, we we should be good. We should be good. Clan Rictus. Do you have any armies? You have the you have an army down there. If I request this army, could I use it to take out Ho Howling Rock? I guess it depends. Let's let's give it a punt. I've never actually done this before. You can't quite reach them. I mean, it's not a great army, is it? But maybe it's enough. So we got them for ten turns. So we'll just use them to. And I can't believe that's your only army. Oh, I guess your I guess your empire is pretty fucked. All right, well. That's fine. I guess I'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.